Welcome to the tales of Thomas Bullock. Me. Where I just play fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! And just babble on about my fucking life stories. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, cool. If you don't, it's cool. It's whatever. I just thought I'd do this because, like, you know, just the past time. Get rid of the boredom. Alright, so here we are, y'all. The Tales of Me, Episode 1. That time I could have fucked a black girl in a casino. Alright, so the story starts, starts off just like this. So, in the beginning, I met four wonderful people. I met Josh, Mercedes, Ibn, and, um, um, what's her name? Irvy. So, I met those four people while I was working at another casino. And what happened was, it was Irvy's friend's birthday. And she invited me and the others to come along and join the party. So what we did was we made it a special night for her. So it was that day. The day came. We went. We we all went down to this place called Ocean Casino, and we were just you know just fucking around, chilling, you know, dancing a little bit, and. That's when Irvy's friend said she said that she wanted to go to a club. We was like, okay, cool. No problem. No problem at all. So we go down to the club. And the thing is, I had my eye on the girl named Mercedes. She was a beautiful black girl. Big ass tits. I, 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 I kid you not. This girl had some knockers on her man I'm telling you big ass tits and the thing is right I had my eye on her all night and she had her eye on me all night I could already feel the tension building up and the thing is as we were going down to the club we didn't know that there was a dress code that needed to be followed with the code we was like oh shit that's crazy so the only two people who weren't, who weren't in dress code for the club were mercedes and i it was just us two and then irvy's friend she got so upset she was all like oh my god thomas mercedes no i'm so sorry i should have told you to wear this and that we're all like nah nah don't worry about it it's cool it's your birthday you don't gotta worry about us she's all like no no i, I should have told you this i want you guys to come in what are you guys gonna do we're all like don't worry we're, we're fine so i told irvy's friend that me and Mercedes will just head back to the room and we'll just wait for y'all there we'll just wait for y'all there so the thing is me and Mercedes we talking we're leaving the casino right we're, we're leaving the casino so we're talking just having a nice conversation and the and we called the limo that picked us up and dropped us off to the club we called it limo back to come pick us up and take us back to the casino so it was kind of silent for a bit that is that was until we met eye contact and everything so we just kept talking and talking you know what i'm saying and then that's when she just like slid over to me in the limo all close and shit i was like hey yo hold on wait a minute don't get me excited like that please don't get me excited like that so you know we over here just messing around kidding around right and then she's then she just whispers in my ear while we're in the limo she's all like you know i think you're really cute and i'm all like shit i think you're fucking sexy she's all like oh i'm like oh get with it you know what i'm saying so we reached the casino and 
I gave the limo driver a tip. It was like five dollars. <laughs> I gave him five dollars. <laughs> so, um, me and Mercedes, <laughs> me and Mercedes, were walking back to the room. Right? We take the long way up. She was all like, you should, you should come over closer to me while we walk in. I'm all like, bet, okay. So she grabs my arm. She grabs my arm and wraps it around her fucking tits. I'm like, oh my God, this cannot be fucking happening. This just, this just can't be happening. I refuse to believe it, but it was. So, you know, we're, we're almost to the lobby floor. And we're just walking, talking, being funny and shit. Take the elevator up to the room. And then we unlock the room door, go inside the room. And then she was all like, let's put on some music. And I'm like, all right, fine. So I just turned the, um, I turned on the, um, um, what, what was it? My man, my man had bought his Beats pill. So we just turned that on, put on some music and shit and I grabbed a couple beers for us you know what I'm saying help us get loose and everything we were just fucking around joking just having a good time and then that's when everything just got silent again right so as we all as we all know when shit gets silent we already know what's about to happen so then so then I look at her I'm done drinking my beer. She looks at me. She done drinking her beer. And we just stared at each other for like a good 10 seconds. Right? So then she was all like, if you gonna do it, then hurry up already. And I was all like, shit, girl, you better not say that to me. Because I'll get right on you real quick. She says, well, you ain't doing it, nigga. And I was all like, hmm, bet. So I get closer, right? I get closer and I'm about to just, uh, and I'm about to like get ready to kiss her on her neck and shit. But then she was all like, uh-uh, nigga, you too slow. So then she literally pushes me onto the bed, right? Pushes me onto the bed. And there's nothing I can do. I'm at her fucking mercy right now. She's on top of me and shit, talking all this good shit. And the first thing she does is literally just starts kissing me and shit. We kiss her for about, well, about like a good minute. Starts taking off her fucking shirt and everything. And I kid you not, that was the best fucking view I've ever had, ever. Had these big ass titties just just right in front of your fucking face while she's on top of you oh my god oh my god and then we just keep on kissing and shit and everything and i said you might as well take that off she said bet nigga so she takes off her bra big ass fucking titties just hanging right in front of my fucking face i start sucking on her nipples and shit start kissing her even more then she takes my shirt off and we get busy real busy <laughs> you know what i'm saying so all that said and done right and then next thing you know right i take off her pants and i'm like girl i'm about to eat you the fuck out She's all like, go ahead, nigga. So, as soon as I'm about to take her panties off, the phone rings. I was all like, wait, what? She was all like, oh, shit. I was all like, don't even answer it. She was all like, I'm going to fucking answer it. It might be important. I'm like, you don't even know these motherfuckers around here. And then she checks the caller ID. And she's all like, Bitch, it's Irvy. I'm all like, all right, fine, it's Irvy. Answer the phone. So she answers the phone, and then Irvy is all like, "Hey guys, 
we just wanted to see how you were doing and then mercedes was all like oh you know we're good we're fine and then irvy's on the phone talking to her and she's all like we'll be there and like 10 minutes and then we're all like wait wait whoa 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 what and and then next thing you know right next thing you know we was all like what happened weren't y'all just at the club like y'all were just at the club and then we found out that irvy's friend had too much to drink <laughs> and then she started throwing up all over the place so then they were bringing her back to the casino that we're at so <laughs> the thing is mercedes hangs up the phone and she's all like oh shit they coming back and we're all like we only got 10 minutes she's all like yeah we only got 10 minutes mercedes was all like do you come quick and i'm all like no i don't <laughs> it takes me a minute like it's gonna take me like at least 18 minutes <laughs> like you know what i'm saying so she was all like oh my god we gotta hurry up we gotta hurry up but then next thing you know next thing you know right we hear voices it was them they were coming down the hallway Irvy told me that they were going to be there in 10 minutes, right? So obviously Irvy is drunk too. Everybody's fucking drunk. They don't know how to tell time. So then me and Mercedes are looking at each other and then she's like almost fully naked and I'm like half ass naked and they were all like oh shit. So then Mercedes goes into the bathroom and changes and she locks the door and I'm all like let me in she's all like hurry up get dressed I'm all like fuck <laughs> so <laughs> I hurry up and get dressed <laughs> and I, can't, <laughs> I can't swear to god I hurry up and get dressed I got his dress as fast as I could and you know I hear I hear them unlock the door and I'm all like, oh fuck. And then, but then luckily for me, I finally got my pants on on time. And then I looked normal by the time they walked in by the, in the door. And then Mercedes came out the bathroom with her clothes fully on. And then they were all drunk. They were all drunk. And the rest of the night was just so sad because they were drunk they were having a good time and then they were like you know they were falling asleep one at a time so we all had to share a room that night and me and mercedes were just looking at each other the whole night in disappointment <laughs> because we were so close to just getting it on but sadly it didn't happen and to this day I still regret <laughs> not getting that far. <laughs> I swear to God, I would have killed myself over again. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. No, I'm not. No, not really. I'm not. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the story. I'm going to be doing more of these. Hope you enjoyed the Tales of Thomas Bullock, Episode 1 that time i almost fucked a black girl in a casino thank you have a good day be easy out there this coronavirus is serious <laughs>